Beware of water already on an aircraft that is pulled into an unheated hangar. Try to remove the water before it has the chance to freeze and becomes much more difficult to remove. A heated hangar will melt frozen contaminants, but be cautious of pulling a warm aircraft into snow or other precipitation at below freezing temperatures. The precipitation will melt on contact with the aircraft's surface and may refreeze before you can take off. Pulling a clean, dry aircraft from an unheated hangar into very dry, very cold snow conditions may not require any de-icing or anti-icing actions. Verify by touch that the snow is not adhering. Other options to protect your aircraft include wing covers or even tarps or blankets. Such covers may not completely protect against all contamination, so be sure to carefully inspect all critical surfaces and remove any contamination before departure. On an aircraft, contaminants such as frost, ice, snow or slush increase the risk of an accident. Various scenarios may unfold depending on the degree of contamination, including longer takeoff roll to liftoff, failure to liftoff, liftoff but no or inadequate climb capability, climb but then roll or pitch instability, and engine power loss or failure. Birmingham, England January 4, 2002 Challenger 604 Immediately after takeoff from runway 15 at Birmingham International Airport, the aircraft began a rapid left roll, which continued despite the prompt application of the full opposite aileron and rudder. The left winglet contacted the runway shoulder. The outboard part of the left wing detached, and the aircraft struck the ground inverted, structurally separating the forward fuselage. Fuel released from ruptured tanks ignited, and the wreckage slid to a halt on fire. The airport fire service was in attendance less than one minute later. The accident was not survivable. It was concluded that the roll had resulted from the left wing stalling at an abnormally low angle of attack, due to flow disturbance resulting from frost contamination of the wing. A relatively small degree of wing surface roughness had a major adverse effect on the wing stall characteristics, and the stall protection system was ineffective in this situation. Possible asymmetric de-icing caused by the APU exhaust gas during pre-flight preparations may have worsened the wing drop tendency. The investigation identified the following causal factors. 1. The crew did not ensure that the Challenger's wings were clear of frost prior to takeoff. 2. Due to the surface roughness associated with the frost contamination, the wing stall angle of attack was reduced to below that at which the stall protection system was effective. 3 possible impairment of crew performance by the combined effects of a non-prescription drug, jet lag, and fatigue. Sydney, Nova Scotia, April 3, 2001 a Dash 8 aircraft with 35 passengers and a crew of three was on a flight from Sydney to Halifax, Nova Scotia. During the climb-out, the first officer observed ice in the air inlet duct of the right engine. Soon after, the right engine flamed out. The aircraft was being operated with the engine ignition on, so the engine recovered almost immediately. Approximately two minutes later, the right engine flamed out and recovered again. After completing the required checklist procedures, the first officer observed that the ice had disappeared. The captain then observed that ice was present in the left air inlet duct. A few minutes later, the left engine went through a similar flame-out and recovery sequence. The aircraft continued to its destination without further incident. It was determined that the ice in the engine air inlet ducts was lifting up as a solid sheet, interrupting the airflow to the engines and causing them to flame out. It could not be determined conclusively how the ice formed.